Hey, it's your art friend Kika. I'm so glad that you're back. Welcome to this lesson all about sketchbook design within Procreate. And this can be a sketchbook or even a scrapbook. Let's look at both options. So here's a little example. It's almost kind of like a journal. Here we have paper background with our artwork. And you can see the paper pattern coming through our artwork. This would be great for watercolor or anything else that you can think of. So let's show you how you can do both. Before we begin, you want to ask yourself two things. What do you want to do with this sketchbook when you're complete? For example, do you want to print it? Do you want to just save it on your iPad? Do you want a certain page size? That you, because after you're going to import it into GoodNotes. So this question, you want to think about your canvas setup. How big do you want your canvas? Maybe you have a physical sketchbook that you will design something in Procreate, then print it to incorporate into your physical sketchbook. If so, you want to set up a canvas that's the same size as your physical sketchbook. The second thing you want to think about is whether or not you want to use a medium throughout your sketchbook. So you can create multiple sketchbooks, digital sketchbooks, but this will determine whether you'll use page assist or animation assist. So I'll show you what I mean. But first, Let's look in how to create three different texture examples, then I'll show you the page setup. So if you already know how to use paper textures and you just want to see the page setup, just jump to the next chapter. So this is our paper texture. So I'm going to show you three examples. Here's example one, or I guess this is the third one. So just look at the paper texture itself. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. It's the same paper design but just different blend modes will give you different variations. So there's no wrong or right, it's just your own personal preference. So let's do example number one, right here. The only thing that we have to do is, let me turn off, there we go. Import some sort of file that has your paper texture design. I'm gonna insert file, I'm gonna use a canvas. You can buy these from different artists. I I got mine from a Skillshare course I did with, uh, I think it was scrapbooking or collaging. So it just depends. There's no wrong or right answer, but it is a PNG file that you're importing into Procreate. So once I have that, I create another layer, and this is where I'd be drawing. This is my paper texture. And all I have to do is change the blend mode of my paper texture to hard light. Very simple. Hard light, make sure it's at the top of your layers and then below you can draw and that paper texture comes through. So that is the first one. First example, take a screenshot of this hard light, that's your paper texture and you're drawing here. Let's look at our second example. Our second example, we have to import a pattern twice. The one layer will be multiply. The second layer will be screen blend mode. So let's try it. I will just, there we go. I'm importing my file, the canvas paper texture. Oh, we can't see it. One second. There we go. Too many blend modes in there. So I have to do that two times. So I'm going to duplicate that. So I have my two layers. Let me delete that to keep it simple. First, for the screen side, for the screen blend mode, the first layer of your paper, we're going to tap into curves, adjustments, curves. And you want to bring down your the line the curve down to the bottom right. And you want to bring it down just enough where it's black with white flakes. I'm going to just zoom in so we can see that. So this is normal. It's gray. I'm going to bring it down. And the amount you will bring it down to that corner depends on the file itself. So I still want to see that white. I don't want to see gray. And I definitely want to see black. 
black, white, no gray. Once I'm done, I tap my brush icon and I change this to screen. And why we did this, this will make sure that those shadows of that paper texture come through when I'm drawing. Now the second layer here, that we want to change to multiply. So we have change the curve, screen, second imported blend mode is multiply. My third layer is where I will actually draw. And if I begin to draw, we can really see that texture coming through, but my page is still gray. So if that doesn't work for you, what you have to do is tap on the second layer of the multiply, adjustments, hue, saturation, brightness, and we want to change the brightness towards the white until you're satisfied with the color of the page. So you can't have complete white. Well, you could, you can't see the texture, but as you draw, you can see the texture coming through. So that's an option, but we want it I like it at 68%. I can still see my texture before I start illustrating on it, but it's no longer gray. That is your second option. Delete that to keep it simple. So you're importing it twice, screen size, oh, screen size, sorry, screen blend mode, multiply blend mode, you change the brightness and you change the curve. Your second example. A few more extra steps, but it might work better than just hard light with your specific paper that you've imported. The third is also very popular. And some say they like it the most, it, but again, just preference. So let's create a new layer. So let, how do we create this? I'm going to turn that off for a second. There we go. I will import the same file, fit the screen. We want two of those, I'm just going to duplicate it. The first layer of my pattern, I want overlay, overlay is right there, blend mode. My second is linear burn, linear burn, overlay, linear burn, and this is where I would start to illustrate and as you can see even though I'm using a light color it's coming out very dark because the page itself is so dark so as we did in the second example in this third example our second layer of the pattern we want to tap the adjustments hue saturation and brightness and up our brightness I think about here that looks good to me you can do it more you can see your design with where you paint, but I like to see an overall pattern. So I'm going to leave it about 74%. And I'm satisfied with that. And the difference between, let me just delete these to keep this clear. You can guys can, can, can take a screenshot. The difference between our second example of screen and multiply versus overlay and linear burn the blend modes is really going to change or give you a different effect based on what design you've imported so for this specific one i use the same pattern design paper <coughs> <coughs> excuse me i use the same pattern design and paper texture so it gave me different degrees of texture as I drew but maybe you import a picture from different artists you'll get different results so that's why I try all three and then you'll get the best result for your personal sketchbook so now that we have our paper design figured out how do we want to use them so say for example I have a paper design on my first page and my second page I'm not using that paper design but something completely different Page Assist is great for that. We can find Page Assist in the canvas, Page Assist, you toggle that on. That's all you do. Once you toggle that on, each page you create is like a blank canvas. So for example, if I want to see all my layers within this specific page, here it is. I have Monday on a layer. I have my washi tape 
I have my sunglasses, and I even have this little design. Here is my paper. If you can see, I can turn it off and on. I can change this layer to hard light like we did before. And that paper texture design comes through. The graphic paper, I should say. But all of this has to be within one group. One group equals one page. So if we open up here, I have my paper texture and I used the screen and multiply blend modes. I have my hello, my page divider, and my design of my dragonfly. So if I want to use this as a scrapbook or a sketchbook with different pages and different designs, what I have to do is create new groups for each page. But you can quickly turn, this can turn into a problem that you could run out of pages very quickly. And you can check where that is with information and actions and canvas information. So my specific canvas has a maximum of 183 layers, which is a lot. So far, I've only used 13. I have 170 to go. But for example, what if your specific iPad doesn't give you 183 pages? My canvas size is a screen size that I used. So the way we want to set this up would be, let me just duplicate this. The way we want to set it up, instead of using page assist, we want to use animation assist. Here's the interesting thing about animation assist. Yes, it is used for animation, but we can save a lot of layers. For example, I can start off by tapping my first page background. And my first page will just be this line divide and bring it down. So again, one layer or one group equals one page, just like page assist. I can't bring it down. Come on. Oh, I know, because I turned this on. Let's turn that off. Move that over. Background. Okay. So now each page or each frame that I add, this background, my layer, will be that page divide. But now I want the same page texture on each frame or each page that I create. What we want to do is make sure that our page texture is in one group. And we're going to bring it to the very top. Let me delete these extra frames. And once our paper texture is at the very top, and I use the second example, um, the screen mode and multiply mode, blend mode. I will tap here and tap foreground. And now no matter how many frames I add, they will appear between my background layer and my foreground layer. So I don't need to create new page textures. They'll just always be there. But I also can't change my page texture. It's always going to look the same. And my background or that page divide will always look the same. So something to consider how you want to use your sketchbook. And after that, let me turn that on. Each page can be its own divide design. New page. Say we want to quickly maybe to draw a lemon. The paper texture is already set up. There's nothing that I have to do. I can just scribble away, sketch away. I'm finished with this layout. I can go to the next one. One thing of caution though, because this is technically an animation assist, tap on settings and you want your onion skin frames to be at none. And if you do for whatever reason hit play by accident, <laughs> it will play through each layer. So for example, if I tap on two, it will show each page, like an anim for animation purposes. You can just hit pause, but onion frames, you want to set to none. 
So there's your two options. If you want the same paper texture for each page, I highly suggest Animation Assist. You can set the foreground, the background. If you want to create different pages with different setups, different designs, then definitely tap and use Page Assist. And remember to put all your paper details and all your designs and paper texture within a group so it shows up on one page. I'm so excited for you guys to try this out. Let me know how it works out. If you have any further questions, I'd love to answer them. And don't forget, keep creating art, keep drawing every day. It's great relaxation. It brings so much joy and happiness. I love using color every day in my life. I'll see you in the next video. Keep creating. Talk to you soon.